Usually we try to smooth our footage, but sometimes we want to make those static shots more dynamic and more impactful. The camera shake effect is one tool that we can use. One use case is this exact same thing, the talking to the camera from a tripod. Go to the effects under open VFX here in the search, look for camera shake. You can either drag and drop or double click. Then go to the inspector, navigate to the effects panel. Here the options are pretty self-explanatory. Let me expand the inspector. First the motion scale, the speed scale and the motion blur. If the motion scale is set to zero, it will not move. It doesn't matter how much pan you add, there will be no movement. The same goes if you have a little bit of movement, but you don't have any speed, you won't have any movement. Then the other thing I wanted to show you is the motion method. The best option here that I found was the rectified scene, but you should definitely go and see what's best for you. For example, the square wave definitely has pretty specific use cases because it makes the footage choppy. The other thing is here at the blanking handling. If you have the border type to black, if you add a little bit more shake, you will see that once the video starts shaking, you will have these black borders. This is because once we add the camera shake, it automatically zooms in, turn this volume all the way to zero. Then on border type, instead of black, switch it to replicate. This effect will make some artifacts at the end of your frame on more detailed spots, but for this background, it's pretty much perfect. Keep in mind that this won't be visible, especially when the viewer doesn't know that there has been a camera shake effect added in the first place. So in this exact situation, what I would say add a little bit of speed scale, a little bit of motion scale, no motion blur, we don't need motion blur here. Add some pan, tilt, I don't think we need rotation, PTR speed should be low. Then on the pause, I don't like to have pauses here because this means the pause in between the different movements, pause interval, the pause length, I'll bring to zero. The randomness I leave and the randomness scale pretty much leave like this. And now check it out without the camera shake and with the camera shake. And the second use case, if you wanna make the shake as if there is a hit or impact, you can add keyframes to the shake to achieve the desired look. I've created this little animation just to show you an example. So now we want to add the camera shake just here on the impact. So what we want to do is add in keyframes. First, let's add the camera shake effect, then go to the inspector again. These little diamonds are your keyframes toggles. So once we click on them and they are red, this means we have enabled the keyframes. Every time we go to a different point in the timeline and we change the value, we are automatically adding in a keyframe. So this is one way to do it. The faster and better way for me is to open up the curves here on this down arrow, click on it and open up this menu and check the boxes for motion scale, speed scale and motion blur. Make sure that your audio here is visible so you can see when the impact hits for me is this frame over here. A good tip is if you're making a music video and you wanna add an impact to the beat, you can use markers. So every time the beat hits, you press M on your keyboard to add in the markers and then you add in your keyframes depending on your markers. So let's go back to the curve. First you have the speed scale here. By holding option and mouse clicking, you're creating a keyframe, then I'll go one frame forward, create another keyframe and bring this keyframe all the way down. So this means with there will be no speed and then here the speed comes in. Then here I'll add another one, make it a little bit bigger, add another one, go down, another one, go all the way down. Then click on the motion scale line, make the same thing, add as many keyframes as you might need and adjust them accordingly. Now if you're not satisfied with the effect, here I would add a little bit more pan, more rotation, more tilt, change to replicate, remove the zoom and pretty much adjust accordingly to what you want to achieve. You can also add in a adjustment layer 
go to the effects very first one drink to the length of the effect and then add in a zoom blur to add this blur activate the keyframes the beginning go at zero then add in a little bit then at the very end go back at zero these are my two ideas to make a static shot more dynamic and more impactful with the camera shake tool. Please like, share, subscribe, and I'll see you in the next one.